Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Sunray here. And there is something that the Lord kept putting in my face this morning. And I know that this is going to be a timely word for someone. And the word is simple as this. Do not lean on your own understanding in this hour. Do not lean on your own understanding in this hour. I'm even hearing or I'm seeing, but I'm hearing people that get it, get it. Is that you don't know how I'm going to do it, but you have to trust that I will. You don't know how I'm going to do it, but you have to trust that I will. I don't think it's a coincidence that the Lord began to place Sarah, Hagar, and Abraham in my heart. Speaking about how Sarah, from her own wisdom, said, well, I don't know how God's going to make me be able to give you a child, this promised child. So I'm going to go ahead and give you my maidservant. And Abraham was like, okay, bet. Like he listened to his wife. He didn't even consult God and he went ahead and did that. And we know that he went 13 years without hearing from God. He went through a cycle where it was like the Lord didn't speak to him. Okay. And so I don't know who I'm speaking to this morning, but I wanted to let you know that at times we don't know why or how, why God is doing what he's doing, the way that he's doing it. And even how he's going to do certain things. But that scripture says very clearly, trust the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Trust him. And the way that we show we trust God is not just saying, God, I trust you. It's us saying, God, not only am I going to acknowledge you in all of my ways, but I'm going to choose every day that my understanding is inferior to yours. That what it is that you're doing, God, go ahead and do it your way. I'll follow. I'll do whatever it is that you need me to do. And so I just feel very simply, but clearly and almost sternly to tell someone, do not lean on your own understanding in any hour, but specifically this hour during a time of birthing, right? He can get your focus, he, Satan, your flesh, right? Your emotions can get your focus off what the Lord has promised. And we've seen it with Sarah. And so very clearly, the Lord is shaking someone this morning and saying, do not lean on your own understanding. He's saying, seek me, seek me and trust me. All right. I love you all so much. And I pray that this reaches the person whom it's for. And I'll talk to you later.